So we, we attended uh, one of the landlord shows recently and I had a really good um, idea of just how unclear people are about title splitting and what it actually does and how does a strategy work. So I thought I'd actually put a video about the basics of title splitting and why do I do it? Why do I talk about it? Why do I write? Why did I write a book about it on Amazon? And um, so in a nutshell, right now we've interest rate around 6% uh, and you can't get buying um, a single dwelling and HMOs because every time you're buying single dwelling HMOs, you're making something like, uh, you're leaving something like 200,000 100, pounds worth of deposit in the actual block. And if that's you, then there's something you can change about your strategy because every time you buy a property and you leave a hundred grand in, let's say you put 75,000 pound deposit and 25,000 is your stamp due to your legals, some refurb costs, that's a hundred thousand. You're not gonna see that money for a good five, probably more years. So I don't know about you, but there's only so many people who've got unlimited amount of a hundred thousand before you can actually make any money. So the challenge with single dwelling is you buy the house, you rent it, the interest is so high at the moment, let's say the rent is 1500, uh, and the mortgage around 11, 1200. That's 300 pound a month mortgage uh, profit that you're making. That's 3,600 pound per year, which is absolutely bugger all. You're gonna need a lot of 300 pound per month to to keep up your day job. Two, if you go for HMO, HMO used to be around 1,000 pound, 1,200 quid per month that you used to be able to gross out at the end of each month. Now, interest rate is so high, uh, interest has doubled really. Two, uh, you've got another issue with the amount of uh, regulations. And three, you've got the issue of um, rent have not have not increased as much as uh, should have been to be able to offset the interest rate costs, as well as the fourth element is utility costs have increased so much right now that um, you know oh, it's just, it's tre it trebled three years ago and now it's settled back to double to what it used to be three years ago. So you've got all of these components for HMOs that are really then affecting the return on your money. So in a nutshell, this is the issue why investors are turning to multi-unit freehold blocks and title splitting them. And in that way, what is it? So you it basically, in effect, you're buying a block of flats where you have four, six, eight units in those blocks. Uh, and within those, you are able to add value on the way in. So I teach you how to buy uh, them on at the right price. So you buy them below market value. Two, you add value. The second way of doing it is you do a refurb on those uh, flats. And the third one, you create titles out of them. You split them apart uh, properly with leases, with uh, land registry with your company structure so you are doing it in a way that you can actually extract all your money out that you use as deposit or you know uh, that you used to buy it and that hundred thousand pound that you were going to leave in your single dwelling or your HMO you take that out and you uh, buy the next block why does that matter because when you're buying the next block you're buying you're, when you're buying a block of flats you're buying income straight away so let's say a block of four flats uh, four hundred thousand pounds uh, yielding around um, so you already got four tenants in there by the time you refinance um, that block you are gonna be leaving let's say 300 pounds that the same single dwelling stuff 300 pound per month on average uh, net so that's four times 300 pounds that's 1200 quid so the same principle that you're done with one single dwelling you used a hundred thousand pounds to make 300 quid here you're using a hundred thousand pound but you're taking all the money out at the end and also more importantly you are generating 1200 pound worth of income on exit so not only have you increased your passive income you've increased you've recycled all your money out of this deal you've bought yourself four units of property that is going to rise and double over every 10 years and most importantly the, the, the other bit to remember is you have recycled that cash out and you are able to buy the next block imagine now you bought two blocks of four in the same in in, uh, in year one, so that you, you that means you make twelve hundred pound uh, passive income on the on the first block, and then you do it again on the second block. So that's two and a half thousand pound per month. That's more than what the average earner in the UK do, does. So stop buying single dwelling. Stop buying HMOs. Commercial conversion is great, but my God, it takes forever. There's so many. Uh, if you are a, a a entry kind of investor. There's so much to know about commercial conversion that unless you've got teams, you've got planning consultants, you've got, uh, you understand how to then uh, exit the actual project with sound testing, 
uh, warranties and everything else, it's quite daunting. So if you're interested, take a look at my website, uh, www.creditygroup.co.uk. We're running our next two day course on the 12th and 13th of April. Uh, the link is with uh, in my bio, but also in the comments uh, section. And um, or you can send me a DM and I'll send you some information about it. But the idea is you come within two days. There's no upsell. One course, you teach. I will teach you everything you need to know about where to find these blocks, how to finance them, how to uh, what to do with them when you've got them, how to recycle your cash out of it after you've done the title split. More importantly, you also get not only the content from me, but you get my contacts, which is the most important bit as well, because not only a lot of courses give you the information, but then don't help you to execute on the information. So I have changed my model. I've changed it away from uh, traditional uh, trainers, and I wanted to get people to actually buy properties. And that's why uh, at the end of my course, well, during my course, you'll meet some of the power team, the broker, the lawyer, the financier, the uh, floor plan designer, um, uh, property tax advisor, whatever you need, it's already provided. And these are people that have You've been trying to test it for the last 15 years that I've been using them. So head over to quiddityGroup.co.uk uh, under property education or click the link below here and you'll be able to see the information. And uh, we've got some of that 30 days um, left for the next course and I look forward to seeing you there.